Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Gorilla TV and Juice TV for encoding your video to Glorious 16x9. Now, uh, as you will know, this has just recently changed. Uh, it used to be 4x3 full frame video or letterboxed, and which was made your video look okay, but it's sort of a bit old school. So we're now going to the new widescreen format. Um, and so hopefully everyone's shot their video in 16 by 9 otherwise you're gonna have some problems but uh, I've just got a Final Cut Pro sequence open here I was gonna say actually I'm gonna to try to get a Premiere Pro one done uh, some stage this weekend or soon but uh, for now hopefully you can watch this and apply some of the settings to your Premiere Pro or Avid or uh, Pinnacle or uh, Sony Vegas, whatever you're editing in, even iMovie. Okay, so we've got a uh, sequence here that will just come to the four minute stage. This is just a music video I'm working on at the moment, but we'll just say this is my new Gorilla TV pilot. Um, obviously we set our out point at exactly four minutes and we come across here, we've got four minutes in this box here and it's the length of our comp. Okay, so and our video here is in 16 by 9 um, what we want to do is we want to go to the export, export using QuickTime conversion. It's all pretty much the same as last time, except we're just going to change a few settings. So um, this is going to be called. Um, now make just make sure when you name your uh, your video file that you name it with the title and the episode number. So uh, say this is going to be um, status which is uh, cancelled, but we'll say this is status, and this is episode 5, oh, status 05. Okay, and we want to go through the options. Uh, go to the video settings. And, yep, we want to keep it at H264. If it's not set on that, go into this dialog and scroll through until you find H.264. H. And the frame rate wants to be 25. can leave keyframes at 24 uh, yes we want it to be best quality multi-pass and of course as always restrict the data rate to 4000 so that we can upload it to the websites okay now we want to go through into the size this is the important but this is the new bit that has changed we've got all these options here of things that we can do um, we are going PAL 16 by 9 but we're not going to go to this setting here we're going to do a custom setting and in the custom settings we want it to be 1024 wide by 576 tall and that is 16 by 9 uh, full frame so we go okay to that we come into our sound settings obviously we want to go to AAC or MP3 uh, whatever city, whatever options you've got there in Premiere or whatever you're using. Um, keep it stereo. We want to go 44.1. Data rate, quality will change the best, and the target bit rate's 128. Go okay. And that's it. Make sure it's uh, it's kind of handy to have it fast start enabled. And we can go okay on that and save. And hopefully you follow that, just fire through any questions that you've got if you're having problems encoding that. Um, so when you're finished, it should come up with a QuickTime video that is 1,024 wide by 776 tall. So go open it up in QuickTime, uh, do Apple I or Command I to get the info on the video. It'll tell you the dimensions of it. So hopefully that matches. And yeah, good luck with your uh, encoding your pilot and hopefully you get it. It works out okay. Okay.